How you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. What do you got here? I got this uh, 1940s uh, stoner candy machine. Candy? Yes, sir. You know who loves candy, right? This guy. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my stoner candy vending machine. I believe the machine is from the 1940s. It's in good shape. There's not too many dents on it. I know it's got some value to it, but I have no use for it. Researching this candy machine, I'm trying to get at least $1,000 out of it. Stoner's pretty cool, though. They made some cool stuff. Stoner vending machines have been around since the 30s, and they're known for making some really cool, sleek vending machines. They had a few different models. They even had a more high-end model that lit up, and you'd see that like in the high-end theaters, you know, the more elite class. But they're not known for just vending machines. They're also known for making some video arcade games. Right, right. This would look really cool fixed up. I have a candy shop myself, so I love things like this, you know, vending machines and candy dispensers. So where did you get this? It's been in the family for a while, but it's been in my garage collecting dust for 20 years. And my wife wants me to get rid of it. Yeah, I think it's about time. Yeah. You haven't fixed it in 20 years, and you're not going to fix it in the next 20. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Does it work? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't used it. Do you have the keys and everything for it? Uh, I do not. OK. Just taking a look at it, I mean, it looks in pretty rough shape. There is a lot of rust on it. How much are you looking to get for it? I would like to get at least $1,000 out of it. OK. I don't even know what they go for in a working condition. I'm going to need someone to come down and take a look at it and see what's going on with it, because it definitely needs to be restored. So if you have some time, I'll get someone down here and we can talk about a price after that. That's fair. All right, give me a few minutes. Right. I guess we're gonna have an expert look at it today and check out the value of it. I hope he gives it a good appraisal because I really could use the money. This is cool, this is an old candy machine. Think in 1940s, stoner vending machine, what do you think? It's probably 40s, 40 to 50. Okay. These came in many models. I mean, like they came with an eight pole where it had different candies. They came with a selector on the side that would have gum. But it used to have a mirror that ran around here. These were everywhere. Every gas station you ever went to that had a Coke machine had one of these in it. And then in 1959, they sold out and they sold to Vendo, which is the biggest oh, yeah. uh, vending companies. Okay. Here's what I was worried about. It looks like it's in good condition as far as the metal goes but it looks like a rust box also. Well, as far as the rust, it's not that bad. So you don't have a key at all? No. You don't have a key, no. There's your key. Whoa. Oh boy. Right? <laughs> the guts are missing. So what this needs, so there's a ton of mechanisms in this, springs, levers, all this stuff back there. It all has to operate in conjunction. When you pull this, it drops one. So the next time you pull it, it drops another one. It's really complex in here. It's missing a lot of parts. So, I mean, I don't know what you guys are want from me. Yeah, if this thing was all done up real nice, this would be cool to maybe put some of my candy bars in it. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, what's it worth in this condition? In this condition? Yeah. Max 300 bucks. 300? What would it take to get it up and running? And paint it, obviously. 4500 4500 OK. What do you think it would sell for if it was restored? Probably 65 to 7500 Done it right. OK. Well, thanks for coming out, Rick. Yep, you got it. Appreciate it. OK. OK, yeah. take care. Go ahead. All right. Well, no way I'm going to be able to get you anywhere close to 1000 He said, as it stands, it's worth 250300 would you take 75 for it? 75? Yeah. How about three? <laughs> no. You said three as it is. I mean, at the same time, if I buy this, I'm going to have to restore it fully 100%. So I'd be into buying this one at 100 bucks. It's going to be so hard for me to get all the stuff to make this look good and look right. 100 bucks. <sighs> all right. Fine. All right. Thank you. 20 years, 100 bucks later, let's go do some paperwork. Uh, I know, you hate when the wife's right. I hate it. Jump. Jump. Hey, what's going on? Rick Dell fully restored it, and he's bringing it by the shop today. I'm hoping this is a sweet new way for me to sell some of my signature candy. This is the candy machine. Is it? Yeah, a little different looking now. Um, I mean, it looks like a blanket to me. Well, you, this is how I am. I like doing a <laughs> voila, you know? You ready? Yeah. OK, here we go. One, two, three. 
Whoa! <laughs> Holy chumbar! <laughs> Check it out, right? That is freaking awesome. I mean, just looking at it, I can see you did a lot to it. So the exterior of it, we had to pound all the metal out and everything. All these stainless steel pieces have to be pounded out straight and then polished. Paint it with this paint that's called hammer tone, gives us this look. This was the original plate that was on there. You can sort of see it says fresh candy, it's all raised. Fix these handles, you remember how they're all sort of white and green yeah. colored? We polished on them and then we painted them red. Right on, I like it. What about the inside? Let's check it out. You wanna see it? Yeah, is that big screen TV in there? <laughs> no, it went away, it went away. Ready? Oh, dang. Remember what it used to look like, right? It looks pretty cool. So this is basically a brand new mechanism. From there all the way down, it's all basically ready to go. Does it work? Yeah, you wanna check it out? This one here is full of your candy bars, okay? Well, lucky you, because I love me a milk <laughs> chocolate candy bar with okay. Pop Rocks. Okay. There you go. Well, it looks pretty good. What's the total? Uh, it's 4,500 with all the parts. $4,500 is just a lot, so you like that? I love that, that's well, cool. That's your first down payment. I'll get you the rest later. Not much later though, right? What is that? It's a candy machine, Trump's candy machine. I just went and got one, the pink one. It got Pop Rocks in it. When did this get here? I just saw it right now, Rick. I'm on break. Want one? No, I'm good. What is this? That's that candy machine I had at Rick Del Restore. Um, just let, let me get this story clear, because I know none of it. OK. How much did you buy it for? I bought it for $100. It was in really, really rough shape. Here, I'll show you the pictures. Rick was able to restore it for a total of $4,500, so a minute $4,600. You could get it $6,500 for it easy. Why are your candy bars in it? That's the gift it keeps on giving, Rick. That thing, you can sell it for $6,500 today, or you can make dollars off it every day for the rest of its life. I even got a dark chocolate one for old guys like you. If any of the employees want to have a Chumley candy bar, when they're on break, they can go across the parking lot to your candy store. Meantime, get that stuff out of it and put it out for sale. I'm just tired of the insanity. I really am, guys. I'll get it done by the end of the week. Sooner? It'll get done today. I'll try.